Oh wow, it's been a while since I did this. Uh, shoot, a whole month. I've got longer. Okay, first we're gonna add a backdrop. Not really necessary, but uh, I'm just going with black here. A black backdrop so you can see uh, the rain better. Yeah, so what we're gonna be doing is a rain tutorial. It's uh, pretty easy, just um, shoot, I'll explain another way why uh, it's not a good idea, but visually it can be uh, and you know what, we don't need to name it. Visually it can like look really good. Okay, so uh, what we're gonna need is active object. Oh uh, shoot, you know what, um, I just realized my mouse is like way too close to my mic. That's uh, not a good thing. Uh, Y'all can hear all that clicking going on. Uh, shoot, now how big should we, let's say 50. And now what we do here is just make it a black strip. Or uh, shoot, just so we can see it better. Let's uh, make it red, red because we have a black backdrop. Then crop it and then uh, fix this so that the ring comes out accurately. Shoot. And uh, that's way too small so we're just gonna resize this. Yeah, that's uh, great. And this will be our rain. Uh, spawner. Spawn is a uh, way easier than uh, yeah, generator. Okay, so we're not gonna clutter. We're gonna duplicate it, and we're gonna have six. Based on uh how strong your uh shoot computer is, I probably shouldn't have done it that way. So uh, first of all, when you duplicate, do it in uh columns not rows there we go just gonna stick to six just in case uh, your uh, computer might not be able to handle it just saying and um, shoot just for also a bigger effect uh, I'll make this frame a little longer uh, 1600 yeah, sorry uh, about that. Shoot. Okay. And we're also gonna make sure that this does not uh, follow the frame. We're gonna want this to follow your character. So um, bring in a character if you have one. I'm gonna bring in mine for this previous, uh, you know, test run I did. I paste them in there. Gonna want the spawners to be visible, but not right now. Now we'll need one other active object, and this will be the rain itself. Uh, shoot. Make this 100 by 100. Apply. Uh, shoot. Should I make it? No, that's fine. Okay. And now we're just gonna just do lines for the rain. Okay, it's good. <coughs> Excuse me, just get it to look however you like it. And you can crop it if you want, you don't really need to. But, uh, shoot. Now that we got that done, we're gonna add the disappearing animation to make it look really good. And, uh, if you want, you can just flip the animation if you want to uh, have it go in another direction. But, uh, shoot, copy this. And uh, onion skin this. So that when it hits the ground, you'll have this nice little animation of the uh, rain hitting the ground.
Yeah. So should I be now working on a, another new game in between some other stuff? So hopefully uh, y'all will like that. Okay. This is animation is really gonna be a uh, short. Delete that first animation. Oh, and uh, another thing. Uh, well, at the end, just make it blank. Okay. And now we have every object we need. Um, we name this rain. And uh, let's get started on actually uh, doing this. First, uh, always uh, scrolling, set a position in the end frame relative to the character. Yeah, there we go. And now, uh, shoot. New condition. Uh, shoot. Okay. Let's first, let's test the position of the character. It's not really necessary to even have a character for this tutorial. I just want to just show you, uh, you know, how to make the ring follow the character. Okay, now every uh let's make it uh shoot uh ten uh milliseconds insert choose spawner at random pick or count pick ring spawner at random and uh shoot launch an object like the spawner launch an object the rain don't know why that didn't come up right We'll leave it at 100. Here's the direction. And here's fine. 22 degrees, I guess that'd be called. Okay. And now, this position of rain, when it hits the ground, you're definitely going to want to destroy it because um, seeing how much will be spawning at a time. Oh, wait, let's not say that just yet. Seeing how much uh, rain will be spawning at a time, it'll uh, look a bit ridiculous. Okay, so we should have everything. I don't know what's up with that. Maybe it's too small. Okay, and let's see. Huh, it's not showing the. Uh... Oh, right. The disappearing animations were going way too fast. Right. Sorry, I forgot to fix that. It's a, let's keep it at 8 so you'll actually be able to see it. Huh, it's still not coming up. Well, if we keep moving, the uh, rain follows us as well. Um, shoot, I uh, was able to put it up to like 10. See the up here, um, number of objects that are being generated, that's like, 41 to 42 active objects going on screen right now, which can really slow down a computer sometimes. Yeah, so I'm not sure why the di disappearing animation isn't coming up, but uh, should it should be. So, uh, let's see. I'm not too certain. Maybe uh, I want to see what happens if we make the rain follow the rain. Plus, uh, Use the bottom, destroy. Yeah, so. Okay. And uh, now we'll make uh, this invisible. This will start. So now when we play it, we have a rain. It doesn't look great or like cinematic or anything it's just a way to generate you know rain for a scene like I said you can definitely make more like uh, go up to 10 just copy paste do I recommend this no especially if you have a slow computer because you can literally like crash multimedia maybe Okay, and I believe that should uh, be it for now. Uh, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more. 
and uh, thank you.